what comes to my mind when I think that is a uh, an all-round woman, mm-hmm. meaning I can be a mother, and that is the first business that God gave us, by the way. <laughs> so, kuwa kwanza ukuwa una succeed kwanza kulea kule watoto wako vizuri, ufanya biashara za kwa vizuri na umanage your your things. Unajua kuna mzazi kama kama mama ako connected to so many things. Unaweza pata niko hapa niko connected to mamangu, babangu, niko connected to my husband, the other side niko connected na watoto, the other side niko connected na 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 biashara. Mm-hmm. So it's an all round woman, a woman who can be able to balance her family, can be able to balance her business, can be able to submit to the husband and manage the the, the setup. Yani an all round woman. I don't know how to put that but mm. I can see that <laughs> someone who can stand when I'm in business, I'm in business fully mm-hmm. without affecting uko kwa kwa nini kwa familia. Yes. Ule ame tunaweza sema ame ame amejua kwamba kuna power, anajua kuna authority. Eh. Yani amejijua. 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 Kwa sababu nayo lakini hatujui. Mm-hmm. So amejijua ametoka katika ile hali ya huko chini ya meza ya kujificha huko chini ficha. Mhm. Eh. Alright, alright. Power to person. You listening to Blue Radio. Bringing the vibe. An organization or rather it is a movement that helps uh, the women and empowering the girl child. Let me not uh, talk more and uh, introduce my dear guest today and uh, they'll be telling us more about uh, Global Women Foundation and everything that is entailed in the movement itself. Good morning. Good morning, Boya. Welcome. Good morning, Boya. Thank you very much. Good morning to you too. Uh, welcome and uh, first and foremost, I would like you to introduce yourselves and uh, get to know about uh, Global Impact Foundation. Okay, my name is Clarice Mwakazi. I'm the CEO and the founder of Global Women Impact Foundation. It is an organization that uh, we deal with women empowerment and girl child support. Thank you. And uh, my name is uh, Lilian Musungu. I am the director of uh, Global Women Impact Foundation. Yeah. All right, quite amazing ladies out here. So like uh, Global Impact Foundation, so most probably you've got uh, an overview of your organization's mission and uh, specific programs that initiate your focus on uh, women and girl child empowerment. Like uh, what is uh, the mission and the vision of Global Women Impact Foundation? Okay, our mission is to All right, all right. Um uh, I think uh, things are very good out here. And uh, when you talk about Girl Child Foundation, uh, empowerment and support and all that, a lot of things come into mind. Eh? And uh, the society uh, tends to like carry the, the Girl Child uh, in a way that uh, they are seen as vulnerable people and that they need extra care out yeah, here. Yeah. So like what is uh, the reason behind uh, that what pushed to the organization to the formation of the organization global women impact foundation what was the main purpose as to why uh that that insight came into mind uh, and um like what are to take a global women impact foundation nini the main reason behind the formation of this beautiful organization okay this uh this is a story mm-hmm. and uh, it is my story that i've walked through and uh, it is a place that where I found myself that I needed to to take up a responsibility and uh, to be more of who I was so that is where global women impact was born the journey that I've walked I lost my husband in 2021 so I was left and I needed to be empowered to take up the responsibility so that is where the birth of global women impact began mm-hmm. yes and our mission our vision is to engage to enable and to empower women in the society 
why are we saying that mm-hmm. because a woman is a key he, she plays a key role in our society exactly yes so you can agree with me mm-hmm. yeah so uh, lazima we have to do something to this key role because a key fail family out in a fail exactly yeah so mm. that is where now I, I i i came to to understand mm-hmm. i was supposed to be more empowered and if every woman can be empowered then hakutakuwa na shida mingi mhm mhm on 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 your side eh? uh in your, in your own experience uh yeah. since you started you said uh after losing your husband in 2021 and uh things became kind of uh, hard kiasi yeah. and uh, you saw like Kenya unapitia most probably other women out there unapitia the same same things yes. and you like I can also become a pillar to other women mm-hmm. who are not uh do, do not do not have people standing with yes. them so like uh when you started mm-hmm. how was it how was the journey how how did it start the whole journey until you got to a point like sasa sai mm-hmm. this is what we want to do and this is the program of what we want to do so that we help women you cannot just say tunasaidia wanawake without the motive ama without the planned actions of what you, are, you you have in mind so that you can empower the women in when you say that woman needs empowerment what is a woman uh, what is empowerment to a woman help my dear uh, listener understand when you say about empowerment to a woman what exactly are we talking about okay thank you Uh, I think I start with the, with the first question that you asked. So the journey has not been easy. It is a very very crucial journey that how to tamani mtu apitie. And um, I tell you when you go to you get yourself to the other side is when you see where you are na uamini kama ni wewe umepita. So from that uh, from that angle ukiangalia wa mama wengi wenye ambao sengine inabidi wanarudi bara sababu kitu imemhapenia ama you can find that uko lakini unapata mama haizi fanya kitu because labda amewachwa na mzee so unapata hiyo mama ana kwa maisha yake ina stop then kuna huyu mama mwenye ambaye labda ameingia kwa marriage ama msichana huyu msichana anaachanga doto zake she stops dreaming na huyu aki, aki grow alikuwa full of dreams so unapata huyu mama ameachana na dream zake she's doing dream kama ya bwanake ama ameacha maono mm. maono yake amekufa so kuna pati hapo inyambaya kuna gap inyambaya hapo kitambo mtu akuje aji kumbuke kuwa mm-hmm. bado niko kwa niko kwa ndoa ama bado nimefika mali nimefika but i had a dream mm-hmm. Yeah so hiyo ni gap inyambaya bado mtu inyambao bado unaona kama hiyo ya girl child support Mm-hmm. That is where by we we talk to girls and tell them what you are dreaming of becoming mm-hmm. it is possible. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, unaweza unaweza kufanya kile unataka. Unaweza kukua kile kitu unataka kukua. Mm-hmm. You can believe in yourself because when you grow up ukifika kuna mali unafikanga unapoteza maono. So mm-hmm. you start living like I'm living niko niko mimi niko hapa but niko Lilian. Mm-hmm. Nusu niko mwingine nusu. Mm-hmm. See, because now I want to become someone else but ukienda wasichana wakijua kuwa i can have my dream and i can become everything that i want to become that is quite touching and very inspiring uh according to what you've said uh, in between i've grasped something of which uh, it is something that is uh, true uh nimeona kwamba most of the women uh, mm-hmm. wakiwa wanaishi their life wakiwa wana grow up they've got that dream yeah. and aim penye wanataka kufikia yeah. and with the society when life uenda msichana ufika age fulani anatakiwa kuolewa yes. na immediately ameolewa yeah. <coughs> sorry mm-hmm. uh, immediately ameolewa mm-hmm. that dream shatters yes i have seen it quite so like your main motive is to keep the girl child at par ajue even after the society norms zinaendelea yes. you can also grow with yeah. the society norms yeah. that is quite interesting yeah. and very very uh yeah in in inatia moyo sana yeah, to the yeah. ladies and all that mm-hmm. because uh kweli kweli usemwe mm-hmm. wanawake wengi wame, wame, wamepotea yeah. wamepoteza dira Nikwe. because uh, immediately immediately wanaolewa mm-hmm. uh, kama hapa hapa eneo letu Mombasa mm-hmm. yeah. tunaona wanawake 
usoma mm-hmm. immediately wamemaliza kidato cha nne mm-hmm. na hapo ndo masomo yameachia yeah. na they just are going to marriage mm-hmm. na wakiingia kwenye marriage uh, mambo inakuwa tofauti sasa they become house wives na they can do something impactful with their life yeah. so in, in to some point you saying like global women foundation is trying to kutoa hiyo kasumba yenye iko mm. like mambo yanaweza endelea even after with the, after, even after going with the norms in the society yeah. that is a great yeah. one yeah. um maybe let's talk about uh the challenges mm-hmm. You've, you've said that uh, these are the things that are pushing you through to do to make changes and all that. Usemi mkweli usemwe, hakuna kitu raisi. Na mwanzo huwa ni mgumu. Yeah, yeah. Eh, chambileti wa Kiswahili wanasema yeah. mwanzo mgumu. Mm. Pengine utueleze changamoto gani zenye umepitia kutoka mwanzo mpaka kufikia sasa na what setbacks have you have you seen so far so good uh, through the whole journey mpaka sasa hivi penye mmefikia? Mm, challenges ni mingi but ile challenge yenye unakuanga nayo sana ni jamii kukubali uh, wale watu wenye unaishi nao around mm-hmm. there is a part that uh, we are still in the generation yenye ambayo bado haijakubali kuwa mwanamke anaweza akakuwa kitu unaona mm. so hiyo bado it is something that we have to fight for ama ni kitu yenye ambayo tunaendelea kukua kwayo tuko kwa jamii ile ambayo kuna kuna angle yenye ambayo inayowekanga mwanamke mjane ama mtoto yatima in a way that they look like they are discriminated ama wako kuna kitu koro mm-hmm. so hawa ni watu wa kawaida yenye ambayo kitu iliwafikia na wako wame wameplan kufikua hapo mm-hmm. but now kwa yule mtu mwenye unapitia hiyo jambo inakuwa kwako already yani kukua ile ku stand out to the society utoke tu hivi kutokeleza na useme Eh, I'm here to fight for my children I'm here to fight for myself mm-hmm. no, no, that is the biggest challenge yeah so anything in your mind unafanya haiko challenges even starting this thing it was full of challenges mm. yeah so uh hiyo i think that is the main thing mm-hmm. mm-hmm. na kukwambia na pengine uh, utueleze uh, back to you madam director uh, pengine utueleze like uh, tunazungumzia challenges kwenye society. Uh, kwenye ile society wenye you are based in. Je, ni changamoto gani hizi kina dada na kina mama ambazo wanapitia kwa mtazamo wako? Na ni kwa njia gani ambao unaona ni bora mnaweza kusuluhisha changamoto hizo ambazo kina dada na kina mama wanazipitia kwenye eneo la eneo lako la let's say your uh, jurisdiction. Asante sana bwana Mboya. Eh kweli kuna changamoto. Mhm mimi nikiangalia katika maisha yangu eh, I am an educationist by profession eh? mm-hmm. na mara nyingi sana ninapatana na wazazi na wanafunzi na utapata kwamba katika ile setup tuko na hao wazazi utapata kwamba wazazi wanawake wanapitia sana na hao njo utapata kama kuna shida yoyote pale shuleni kuna shida yoyote pale manyumbani hao ndio wako na kipumbele mm-hmm. lakini ukiwaangalia wenyewe hizo hali ni ngumu sana mm-hmm. kuzipatia solution ni ngumu ukiangalia hali wanapitia ni ngumu so hiyo ndio kitu kubwa sana pia imetuchangia hapa mm-hmm. ili tusaidie kusaidia hawa mama zetu mm-hmm kwa sababu ukiangalia mama mama afadhali alalenja mm-hmm. lakini familia yake fanya nini ipate ipate so hizo changamoto ni nyingi sana na wako na kazi nyingi ya kufanya so tukiwapatia empowerment si ni bora zaidi ina eh, yeah. bora zaidi ukiwapatia yeah. empowerment ili uweze kujinua kwa sababu wanasema wanao nasema uh, after god the second uh, the second person that you should uh, always give respect to is the mother because yeye ndo unajua changamoto ambayo familia inapitia kuanzia baba kabisa kuanzia baba bila kumtoa baba ba, mama anajua shida paka baba anazozipitia kuanzia baba mpaka watoto kwa hiyo huwa mimi najiambia kweli baba ndiye kichwa cha familia yeah. lakini moyo 
wa familia huko kwenye mama. Ni mama. All right, all right. Ah inakuwa tamu kama sio tamu ni tamu zaidi. Eh msikilizaji wangu zime katika dakika 17 baada ya saa mbili saa za Afrika Mashariki. Tutakuwa tuna tunapunga hewa kidogo na kibao chake Diamond Platinumz akiwa amemshirikisha Mr. Blue na J Melody kibao chao ni Mapoz. Eh kwa muda mchache tu alafu tutakuwa tukirudi tunarudi mna mengi zaidi kuhusiana na Global Women Impact Foundation. A very fruitful conversation my good people. Keep it blue. And remember, it is all about WCW, women empowerment and girl child support. Kaende kaende, nakuwa tamu kama siyo tamu, ni tamu za idei. Women Impact Foundation. We were having a very fruitful conversation about their grand launch over the, this beautiful foundation. And uh, we have talked about quite a number of things. And uh, as per now, it's still the ball is on them, huh? We still want to know about the Global Impact Foundation. And of course, I am joined by two beautiful ladies. Uh, Clarice Mokazi, who is the CEO and the founder of uh, the Global Women Foundation. And uh, the counterpart, uh, Madam Lillian, who is uh, the director of the SAID organization. So, back to our fruitful conversation. Um, you said that uh, it is, you're, you're launching the the foundation on 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 saturday the 9th of march yes. and uh maybe give us uh help us by giving us the insights uh, mm -hmm. of uh the insights of uh what uh, how do you do you see mm -hmm. your organization yeah. and uh, what plans do you have in to to like um initiate communities to partner with you like what do you have uh, in mind to help you uh, work together with the community and uh, organization, other organizations that have the same similar thing and vision, theme and vision in mind? Okay, thank you, Mboya. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, a journey that we cannot work al alone. Mm -hmm. So we welcome the collaboration and the partnership. And it depends on... Uh, what kind of uh, objectives that they have. You can partner with us if you, you do training and that training is part of our objective because kuna vitu lazima wa mama tuafunze ndo tukue mali tunataka kukua. Then uh, there is a part of mentorship. Mentorship we need all women on board because this is something that uh, we are looking at being generational. As in, I'm winning in a certain area in life. I'm money, money, kwenye nafanya kazi. I do business. So, kama I'm winning in business, and there's a woman outside there who is struggling with startup. Labda na chaka kwanza, labda na fikira kona maono. You see, how can I help that woman? Nimshike mkono. We walk with her the journey. Afike mahali. Then, akifika hapo. As idea mwingine pia amshike mkono so it's like mm -hmm. i am trying to help who mwenye nimeacha nyuma na yule mwenye uko mbele pia anajaribu kuwa kuna mimi so it is something that tunashika na mkono tuna grow ili muweze kusonga pamoja tuna songa pamoja mm -hmm. so that is mentorship wasichana wenyewe ambao wako shule sasa if you want to become a lawyer when you grow up we have lawyers in our nini in our, in our foundation in the, in the foundation unaweza ongea na wao they can mentor you they can walk with you the journey tutembe na wao mpaka tuone wamefika mali wana wanataka kufika mm -hmm. yeah all right all right uh, back to you madam lilian mm -hmm. uh, you've told us that you are an educator by profession yes. so like uh, what role do you believe education plays in empowering women and girl child and uh, how does uh, the organization plan to support education opportunities for the women and the ladies the girl child to be precise thank you um, Education is power. And uh, when you have knowledge, you can be able to do things that uh, you would not have done if you didn't have that knowledge. So when uh, our children, I'll start by the, by the girls because the girls are the ones first in school and they're young. So when the girls are educated, and uh, they get the correct knowledge 
it means that we are planning to have a better society in future. They'll be a better person than maybe their parents are. They'll be able to make better decisions about what they want to do. They'll be able to see which kind of opportunities are available in the world. So if we educate our children, if we mentor them well, then we are changing our society. We will not have uh, early marriages. We will not have this uh, high rate of dropout. Because right now, utapata watoto, especially huku kwetu pwani, mm -hmm. utapata watoto wanacha shule mapema. Wakifika class 8, wanona wamefika. Mm -hmm. Wengine wakifika saizi grade 6, anona, ametosha. Unapata wanakimbia ku, kuolewa na mapema. Oh, wanakimbia life. But after two, three years in marriage, anarudi ya kilia. Mm -hmm. Amebeba watoto watatu. Mm -hmm. So, anajuta badai. So, sisi tunataka kupunguza hizo maju, majuto. Mm -hmm. Kujaribu kwa empower mapema, waone the difference between the current, uh, the life they are living, mm -hmm. the life they think is good, which is not, mm -hmm. and the life that can be wakikuwa na mabadili mabadiliko all right so tunataka tu kwa hamasisha kabisa mm -hmm. ili wa uweze kufunguka mm -hmm. na wajue hivyo all right uh, wajue pia tukizungumzia girl child empowerment tukizungumzia fursa kwa mwanamke uh, ukweli useme kwamba the society is involved with both genders and uh, chochote ambacho lazima tufanye ili kumwezesha mwanamke Bila, bila shaka, lazima mwana meosike. Nilijua tu tauliza yo swali. Anonyo <laughs> <laughs> nasema hivyo kwa nini? Tumejumulika, tumejumulika sote kwa majumba, ukunje, mitani, mm. kila mahali. Mm. Panapokuwa na mwana mke, yes. lazima mwana meawe. Na ili uweze kumwenua mwana mke, mm -hmm. lazima mwana me pia usishwe. Yes. Ni kwa njia gani mbao, mtaweza kumusisha mwana me, ili awezeshe, Mm -hmm. uh, awezeshe kumwenua mtoto wake kwa sababu pia wa, 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 wazazi wa kiume pia wapo yeah. na mimi kama mwanamme uh -huh. mke mke nikijaliwa uh -huh. anaweza kunisalia mtoto wake uh -huh. na unajua pia mtoto wake ni sawia na taabu uh -huh. unaona mm -hmm. na itapaswa pia i the same same initiative yenye mko nayo kwenye nani yeah. msi build kwa mwanamke peke yake je yes. ni jinsi gani ambayo mnaweza ku build kwa mwanamme pia ili mm. naye pia aweke ile the notion behind that a girl child can deserves also deserves to be empowered because kuna wanaume wengine wengi sana mm -hmm. wanakasumba ya kuwa mtoto wa kike hapaswi kutiliwa maanani zaidi mm -hmm. cha muhimu ni umemlea mm -hmm. amefikia ameitimu mm -hmm. miaka yake ya kuitimu bas achukulie mm -hmm. ndoa anaende mm -hmm. because hii hi, insight ikiwa hi, inaendelea hii kasumba ikiwa mama ndo ako nayo peke yake mm -hmm. Ya kwamba mwanamke anafaa kupewa fursa, mwanamke anafaa kuenuliwa, mm. mwanamke anafaa kufanyiwa hiki na kile. Mm. Ikiwa tutaiweka kwa mama peke yake na tukamsahau baba, basi patakuwa na changamoto zile shida bado tutakuwa tuko nazo. Yeah. Kila kukicha. Mm. Je, ni mchakato gani ambao mmeweka ili muweze kumuinvolve mm -hmm. the father figure, mm -hmm. the brother, yeah. friends mm -hmm. ili kuwezesha the empowerment of the girl child. Mm. Okay. Yeye kwa issue hata kwa ile grand lunch dinner mm -hmm. so watu wamekuwa kiuliza like a man invited and uh, nimekuwa nikiwaambia kuwa wanaume hakuna mali wanawake wanazaka kwa bila wanaume mm -hmm. we need them why kwa sababu unajua they need to be part of us kama hawataelewa huyu mwanamke mwenye kwa empowered wataweza kumhandolaje so ile voice yao ni muhimu sana and their perspective mm -hmm. How does a man look at a woman who is empowered? Ana, ana muonaje kwa society. Because mm -hmm. kuna mahali kwenye ukianza kidogo wananza kusema umetua makucha, mm -hmm. umeanza usiki. Mm -hmm. So kuna hiyo part of nini. But sasa unawana, uh, uh, sisi tunaongea from the part of experience mm -hmm. ya inyambayo tumepitia. Na kwa, mm -hmm. kwa hiyo part tumeona ni gapo inyambayo watu wengi sana wameuliza. In fact, we, we will be having men that day on uh, the grand lounge dinner yeah. to talk about the same mm -hmm. yeah so even yet you gonna or baba pia so mm -hmm. you, need, you need to be there so, so it is uh it is something that is balanced mm -hmm. enough for pia 
this journey we cannot walk alone kama wanawake we need men on board kwa sababu gani unaona wazazi wengi ni ambao benefit they are benefiting out of girls was chana mm-hmm. you know, they are doing amazing things to their parents so if a parent hata huyo unaona mbaba tu akisema ana anasaidia mtoto wake he will see fruits mm-hmm. so ni nani atataka ku support mtoto wake so those are the things the nyambazo tunataka pole 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 na unajua mama wako na nguvu mm-hmm. if i want to influence wanangu ama any man around me i can influence them so huyo mama kitaka tu huyo atembee njia fulani they can do it mm-hmm. so una unamdwanga ukitaka kushika mzee mm. pita njia ya mama alafu <laughs> pole pole ina, ina, inafika huko ukitaka <laughs> uh, ukitaka uh, kumanage mzee <laughs> unatumia soft spot <laughs> yes unatumia huyo sasa kuna njia wanajiwanga kuwafikia mm. yes <laughs> all right all right now now that now that we've brought the boy child in this mix mm? now that we've brought the boy child in this mix in what ways huh, yes. does uh, your foundation mm-hmm. Uh, plan to promote gender equality and for uh, advocate for in the meantime uh, advocate for gender e- equality and at the same time uh, advocate for the rights of women and chil- and girl children both locally and uh, like at the same time you are advocating for gender equality usimsahau boy child lakini at the same time yani una, una handle how balance. do you, uh, una balance how yeah. how do you plan to like uh, uh, facilitate that at the same time gender equality and the same mm-hmm. time advocating for rights and uh, for the woman and empowerment of the girl child yeah. mm-hmm. boya naam sasa atutacha nyuma the male gender mm-hmm. kabisa kabisa tutawacha because to build the women kabisa kabisa then uh, kutakuwa na gap fulani hapo kidogo mm-hmm. so for example kama tunafanya training na tuko kwa girl child na utapata girl child kuna tuseme tuna deal for example na teenagers mm-hmm. alafu tume empower the girl so the boy hawatakuwa kwa the same level mm. so kidogo pia tuta empower the, the boys mm-hmm. yeah atutawacha kabisa mm. so kuna vile tutafanya hiyo yetu ya ya girl child but we'll be doing sometimes we'll be doing both of them mm-hmm. when need be but we'll also look at which program if this one is specifically for for the for the male mm-hmm. then uh, hapo hapo tunaweza kuwa na cassette up ka the, the sorry for the female tunaweza kuwa na cassette up for the for the for the mail. Mm-hmm. So kuna vile tutaangalia ni vipi tutawa weka. Mm-hmm. Hatutawasahau kabisa kabisa. All right. Yeah, vile mm, madam CEO amesema mm-hmm. tuko pamoja na the nini katika harakati yetu ya mipango ya launch mm-hmm. na hata kazi mm-hmm. already tunafanya kazi na. Mm-hmm na the boy child. All right, all right. Yeah. So it is a, it is a great show. Vile tunaweza waacha nyuma kabisa. Mm. We are also included. Hata wewe sasa tayari sasa tunafanya kazi na wewe. Yeah. Na wengine. All right, all right. So like nimesema <coughs> the boy child hatasaulika. Yeah. That one is a great one. Mm-hmm. Um so huo wa swahili anakuambia shughuli ni watu. Mhm. Na kwa shughuli kufanikishwa lazima watu wajitokeze. Yeah. Like how can individuals in the community mm-hmm. get involved uh, with the foundation in terms of uh, support mm-hmm. and uh, being part and parcel of a global uh, women impact foundation. Okay, tukifika mali kwa community mm-hmm. unaona sisi tuko mahali na kuna community maliko. Mm. Now we need to get people on the ground wenye ambao wanaweza kuwa wana they understand even the problems in watu wanapitia mm-hmm. what we normally do is we do a need analysis and that is what we do before we do any program mm-hmm. so like tutakuja kwenu tujue mko na shida gani because every woman is somewhere mm-hmm. so kuna mtu wako chini kabisa mwingine yuko katikati mwingine yuko juu So lazima uangalie ugeji kwanza huyu anahitaji nini gani anahitaji msaada gani mm-hmm. so what kind of an empowerment 
does this woman need where she is at the moment mm -hmm. you know now my empowerment can be different from Lillian's empowerment yeah. based with yes. our based on our career ama our problem our level yes mm -hmm. yeah so kuna mtu anahitaji empowerment kubwa kushika mkono wa mm -hmm. yani strong kuna mwingine unamwanza sasa ni kama mtoto unamlea mm -hmm. bado hana maono mwanze mm -hmm. kumnashamwambia yeah, you can dream you can dream mm -hmm. mwingine kuna dream tayari mm -hmm. so unaweza kumpea moyo this dream can become true a day mm -hmm. how are we going to get there mwingine ashaanza something but mm -hmm. hajui anaendeleaje amekwambia hapo katikati yeah so unamshika mwambia yeah this thing yeah you can grow to this and this and this mm -hmm. so unaona we are in different levels All so right. if you think up we need to go to the to the community and understand their needs yes. All right sasa nilikuwa nauliza mm -hmm. uh, mtu ambaye anataka kuwa part and parcel mm -hmm. awe miongoni uh, wale members mm -hmm. of uh, this uh, amazing foundation yes. ni kwa jinsi gani anaweza kujisajili ama anaweza kujitambulisha naye pia mimi pia ni part and parcel of global women impact foundation uh -huh. aweze ku ride along with the pride of being a member of uh, impact foundation global impact foundation okay hiyo unaweza to join tuko na namba zetu kuna fb page instagram unaweza tutafuta unaweza kuja kwa lounge in fact that will be a great moment for if you want to join us mm -hmm. unaweza kuja kwa hiyo siku then uh, kutoka hapo every woman is making an impact where she is ataka kuna level gani yako but she is making an impact hata kama hajatokelezea nje mm. kwa nyumba mm. she is making an impact hata uko kwa nyumba so every woman can join this and there is no qualification Mhm. As 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 far as you can make an impact. That's all. Yes. Ni hiyo tu. Yeah. As long as you are a woman and you can make an yes. impact. Yes. Unajua kuna mama mwana ka kwa nyumba mm. na wanaona ni kama hawana chochote. Mm. But I tell you, we are supposed to celebrate every woman. Mm -hmm. I tell you the journey of being a woman itself is a journey that needs to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. So every woman is making an impact. So mm. at you look chini. So what No, no. So global women impact is that we are impacting each other. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh maybe uh, to you madam director. Uh looking ahead uh, for the new future. Uh what uh, are some of the key goals and uh, initiatives that uh, uh, your your foundation is planning to put uh, forth uh, so that they can advance empowerment of the women and supporting of the girl child? Uh, we have uh, great plans for our women and the culture and um, we are also open to get to unique uh, problems that have not been captured eh? mm -hmm. yeah so the first thing is we want we would love I know it is not an easy journey but we would love that we are able to touch lives of so many women and uh, be able to mentor them so that they can change mm -hmm. and be better persons all right yeah. so we will want to mentor them as much as possible and train them and uh, would want to to when we that is the umbrella part of it mm -hmm. so from that we can be able to do so many different kinds of projects with them mm -hmm. because we know kuna mambo mingi sana wanaweza kufa, kufanya mm -hmm. yeah so through that tutapata kule mashinani kama wanataka kufanya uh, mambo ndogo ndogo waweze kufanya mm -hmm vile madam amesema hapa kama unataka kufanya mambo makubwa makubwa waweze kufanya hmm. sisi tunataka kuangalia tu vile tutawashika mko shika mko no, then we can do those different kinds of pro projects mm -hmm. ni mingi so hatuwezi sema tuko na specific hii na hii na hii but through the trainings and mentorship we can be able to see the different areas mm -hmm. ile tunaweza kuwa kuwa touch all right all right uh, maybe niulize a perspective eh? get a personal perspective on uh, what this uh, term women empowerment truly means to you personally when you say women empowerment 
what comes to mind what comes to my mind when i think that is a uh, an all round woman mm-hmm. meaning i can be a mother and that is the first business that god gave us by the way <laughs> so kwa kwanza ukwe una succeed kwanza kulea kule watoto wako vizuri ufanye biashara zako vizuri na u manage your, your things unajua kuna mzazi kama kama mama ako connected to so many things unaweza pata niko hapa niko connected to mamangu babangu niko connected to my husband the other side ni connected na watoto the other side ni connected na 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 biashara mm-hmm. so it's an all round woman a woman who can be able to balance her family can be able to balance her business can be able to submit to the husband and manage the the, the setup yani an all round woman i don't know how to put that but i can see that <laughs> someone who can stand when i'm in business i'm in business fully mm-hmm. without affecting uko kwa kwa nini kwa familia yes ule ame tunaweza sema ame ame amejua mm-hmm. kwamba kuna power mm-hmm. anajua kuna authority mm-hmm. yani amejijua Ame, amejijua, amejijua. Mm-hmm. cuz tuko nayo lakini hatujui mm-hmm. so amejijua ametoka katika ile hali ya huko chini ya meza ya kujificha huko mm-hmm. chini mm-hmm. eh all right all right powered person So finally finally uh, what message would you like to share with our listeners about uh, importance of empowering women and supporting girl child in our society uh, what message uh, would you like to share with our listeners about the importance of empowering women and supporting the girl child in our society okay our theme for the day iko it's a, an empowered woman is an empowered society mhm it is very very important for women to be empowered because we let me say she is connected to so many so many things mm. yeah so yeah kwa kwa yeye kwa empowered i can be able to touch our community i can be able to touch our parents i can be able to touch what any niko i can i can do so many things mm-hmm. like kuna mtu alikuwa anasema like if uh, a woman has a uh, uh, nini kama ako na gari hiyo gari inakuangalia watoto na ni familia mm-hmm. but when a man has a nini kuna vile <laughs> yes so yani unajua siwezi nikakula na watoto wangu kwa nyumba wako ina njaa mm-hmm. i can do anything wale watoto wapate food mm-hmm. a woman can sacrifice anything kwa sababu ya familia yake. So that is the point where my tunasema huyu tukijaribu kumempower hii jamii na inainuka. Mm. Mambo inaanza kufanyika. Mm. Yes. All right, all right. Madam director. Yes. Mhm. Unajua? Mm. Women. Men you cannot do, you cannot do without women. That is true. You cannot. So the best way ni mshike women mkono. Mm-hmm. Tuanze kushika na watoto wetu wasichana mkono. Na tushike wanawake wetu mkono na pia tu support generally wanawake. Kwa sababu tukishafanya hivyo you are hiyo ni sure bet, mm-hmm. sure bet kwamba unaweza pata mabadiliko. Nataka pia uangalie tu kwa mfano tu. Eh, si kwa ubaya. Mm. Angalia the women that are empowered in our country. Mm. Na kazi ile wanafanya. Na ile bidii wako nayo. Mm-hmm. Si nzuri sana. Tena sana. Eh, mm-hmm. nzuri sana. So tusichoke because a woman is a special being. Mm-hmm. Mungu alimtengeneza tu in a special way. Yeah. Na akikuwa empowered. Mm-hmm. Awezi kulala na hiyo skills amepata. Na unajua credit inaenda kwa nani? inaenda kwa nani? Dema. Today we na start winning na na win. Mhm. Yeah, inaenda kwa wao. Mhm. Yeah. So, <laughs> bado bado kila kitu tunafanya hapa, bado mm. inabidi tukoe. Mhm. Mm. Mzee. Mhm. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh we've got a ground launch dinner. Yes. And uh I would like to give you this opportunity to like talk to our listeners, tell them about uh the launch dinner and what is to be expected and all that. The flow is yours. Oh. So, siku imefika. 
how many days to Saturday? I think two days. Two yeah. days. Two, two days to two the days, D day. To the D day. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that is uh, a day that Mtu uh, Haizi afford to miss. Just have to be there. And uh, you, j- you just need to represent yourself mm-hmm. and the society that you come from. Who knows? Nezakuwa ni siku ya kwa connect. There will be networking, collaboration. Uh, there will be amazing speakers. Kutakuwa na watu wazuri sana. There will be women who will be sharing their stories. Kutakuwa na a lot of activities. And after that, we will be celebrating International Women's Day. Mm-hmm. This is to celebrate every woman who will be on that on that day every superwoman mm. every woman is a superwoman all right <laughs> yeah appear to talk on entertainment mzuri mm-hmm. so in the house we'll be having a dj linium mm-hmm. he'll be entertaining us as much as tutakuwa tunaongea mambo ya kujenga wanawake pia tutakuwa na raha na pia tuta celebrate international women's, women's day, day. Eh uh, unajua we are Kenyans yeah. and as the saying as the saying goes anasema Kenyans share ni sheria. So when yeah. the millennium is there uh, I expected the uh, order of big share. But uh, fruitful share. Yes. Uh, that is after Launch. launching the Global Women Impact Foundation yes. and then getting to know more about uh the women empowerment and all that having amazing speakers yes. and amazing people out there connecting yeah. and all that yeah. and by the end of the day did you to <laughs> mix us up in, yeah. fact, in fact that day is the day that you you will get to understand mm. who is this an empowered woman mm. Mm. we will see or uh, we will you, see quite a will, number of empowered women see, and also you will learn about mm. that woman <laughs> All right. So uh, apparently we are thrilled to announce uh, that uh, we are coming up with a uh, gala dinner to commemorate International Women's Day on that of uh, 2024. So join us on our unfor- unforgettable evening filled with inspiration, uh-huh. empowerment and celebration. Yes. Together we will honor the achievements of women uh-huh. and reaffirm our commitment to gender equality. So get ready for a night of powerful speeches, uh-huh. uplifting performances mm-hmm. and meaningful connections. So save the date and stay tuned for more details. It is all about Global Women Impact Foundation Grand Launch Dinner that is going to be happening at City uh, City Blue Hotel in Mombasa. Uh, the date is 9th all the way from uh, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. And they're telling you the dress code is white with shades of what? Pop. Hey, Jamani. Iyo color purple. So remember, uh, you can catch your Alibaba ticket at 1,500 Kenya shillings and you just leap on I Mpesa. The pay bill number is 400, 200. With uh, that, uh, that one is the pay bill number. Account number is 202433. So grab your tickets. My payment your best. Yes. Na, na, I think I think I don't know kama kuna mtu alikuwa anatusikiza. Mm. If we can get one woman tunaweza mpatia ticket moja. Mm. Yes. Aende akunini akutafute. Aku, aku Anitafute. Yeah. So uh, if there is a woman that is currently listening and I uh, would like to be part and parcel of uh, the this great initiative eh? just uh, text me on my social media platform uh, finest presenter. Uh, that is my Facebook account and uh, we'll have more uh, conversation on that one. the first woman to text me that is i would have a yeah. ticket uh, so that you can go and get empowered on that very day uh, it is uh, 54 minutes past 8 am and of course